Hello and welcome to another episode of the Kid Stories Podcast. I'm Phil Bechtel. Let's get on to some shout-outs. Nathan Levy is a big fan. He shared a picture of an evil robot king he made with magnetiles. That was awesome, Nathan. I think if you were a character in the stories, you would be a magical weapon crafter who makes the most powerful weapons and heroes come from all around to buy them from you. I think if you were a character in the stories, you would be a magical weapon crafter who makes the most powerful weapons and heroes come from all around to buy them from you. Thanks for listening, Nathan. Emilia from Magnolia, Delaware listens every day, and she shared a bunch of drawings that were all so good. Thanks for that, Amelia. I think if you were a character in the stories, you would be a gloop tamer who has the ability to tame gloops with your magical gaze. Thanks for listening, Amelia. Today's episode is titled Tea with Five Tails, Part 2. James and Five Tails agreed that their best course of action would be to try and sneak up into the cloud troll's domain high up in the sky. They hoped that they could sneak up there and grab the tea without getting noticed. Well, that's what James hoped anyway. I'm going to burn that whole cloud city to the ground, said Five Tails, already preparing to overreact. You know we can't do that, Five Tails, said James. There's like hundreds of trolls up there. We just need to sneak in and get the tea and sneak out. If we get into a fight with all those trolls, they'll crush us. Five Tails just grumbled. He waited for James to get ready. James prepped his flying scooter and Fancy climbed on board, her tail wagging, ready for another adventure. The three took off, up into the sky much higher than James usually preferred to go. The cloud trolls were a rare type of troll that lived high in the clouds. No one really knew how it all worked. They just figured the trolls used some kind of magic to turn the clouds into a big, livable city. And the trolls could fly up and down from their cloud city. Though they rarely came down, they preferred to stay up away from everyone. And everyone preferred that as well, since cloud trolls were thieving, lying stinkers. The three got to the edge of the clouds and stepped onto the fluffy surface. Standing on a cloud is like nothing James ever experienced before. It was soft and fluffy and squishy, but firm enough to hold them all, even Five Tails' huge dragon body. Further into this massive cloud, there were rooms where the cloud trolls lived, just like the rooms in a house, kitchens, libraries, bedrooms. James and Five Tails had never been up into a cloud troll's domain before, but they had heard stories of what it was like. Okay, let's keep calm, said James. There are hundreds of trolls up here. Let's just find what we need and get out. James led the way with five tails behind him and Fancy bringing up the rear. They heard far-off sounds of trolls through the cloud walls as they crept about the cloud city. They peeked into rooms and down hallways, keeping an eye out for a kitchen or a loot closet where the expensive teas may be stored. As they turned a corner, a cloud troll stepped into view. It was huge, as trolls usually are. White hair covered its head, and a thick white beard hung down from its chin. At first, it didn't notice James and Five Tails, since it was looking down at a book as it was walking. They froze, hoping the troll would turn the other way and ignore them completely. But the troll looked up from his book and gasped at seeing intruders in the Cloud City. James reached into his gear for a rope and some knockout powder. He was sure they could quiet this troll before things got out of hand. But before he could toss the rope and powder, a blast of flames shot out over his head. Five Tails roared, blasting fire at the troll who was knocked back and scrambled up to run away. The flames licked the troll's hair and beard, singeing them and starting them smoking. The troll ran at full speed and turned a corner, out of sight. Five Tails began to pursue him, but James piped up. He's just going to lead you to the entire troll horde. And he knows this place way better than you do. He's long gone already. 
If you just would have let me knock him out, we'd be fine. But you had to go yelling and blowing fire. James stomped off back to the entrance where his scooter was parked, and Fancy followed, her tail wagging. Wait, where are you going? Five Tails asked, catching up to James. What about the tea? I'm going back to your lair, said James. You're too hot-headed for this mission. If you want to go blow in flames and fight the entire cloud troll horde, then you go right ahead, but I'll have no part of it. James was back to his scooter now, climbing aboard and ready to roll out into the sky before a hundred trolls came down to get them. Okay, uh, okay, I'm sorry, said Five Tails, something he had probably never said in his life. No more hot-headedness, okay? No more flames, uh, I just want my tea back. James grimaced, annoyed. He sighed. All right, I, I think I have an idea. I think I could maybe make it work, come on. Five Tails leaped off the edge at Cloud City and flew back down to his lair in the dormant volcano. He was eager to hear James's plan. When they returned, James began dumping out his pouches and pockets and adventure bag onto an old wooden table, Jars and little bags and crystals and all kinds of magic things tumbled out into a pile, and James spread them out, looking for one specific thing. Five Tails looked on curiously, and Fancy curled up nearby, thinking their mission was over. Here it is, said James, holding up a small crystal. It was white, with black spots. What is it? asked Five Tails. It's a transmogrifying crystal, said James. It's supposed to change the way we look without changing what we are. If we can get it to change our appearance to that of a cloud troll, then we can sneak in without getting noticed. The only thing is, uh... What's the only thing? asked Five Tails. The only thing is I've never used one of these before, said James. But we should at least give it a try. James imbued his thoughts into the gemstone magically, as he had done with other things before. Then he, Five Tails, and Fancy sat in a circle. They closed their eyes and James said the magic words. There was a flash and a strong gust of wind, and then everything was still again. The trio slowly opened their eyes to see the crystal had worked. To each other, they all looked like cloud trolls. Green and white skin, heads full of white hair and big bushy white beards. It worked, said James. Now, we need to get back up there real quick because I'm not sure how long this spell's going to last. James and Fancy and Five Tails rushed back up to the cloud troll domain to steal back the tea before the spell wore off. The end. Thanks for listening, friends. The website is kidstoriespodcast.com. Send all your drawings and things to kidstoriespodcast at gmail.com. Adios.